There was a Sunday school class, and this is interesting, because that hallowed be thy name was an interesting phrase for this little girl. She was reciting the Lord's Prayer, and she said it out loud in front of her Sunday school class. She says, our Father, which art in heaven, how did you know my name? (laughs) The teacher corrected her. And obviously, she was trying to get her to memorize it correctly. But when I heard that story, I thought, what causes me to hallowed be thy name, which means to consecrate and to dedicate and to give you praise and glory, is the fact that you actually do know my name. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and lead us not into temptation. Or excuse me, forgive me of my sin or forgive me of my debt as I forgive my debtors and lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Now watch this. That prayer was not just given to be a superstitious prayer. We would pray asking for favor and success. That prayer was given by Jesus to teach us that we got a father, we got a king, we got a provider, we got a leader, and we got a deliverer. Watch this. So when I pray that Lord's Prayer, Father, thank you that you're my daddy. Thank you that you are high and mighty, and you are to be worthy of my praise. I thank you that you're my king, and you own everything. I thank you that you are my provider, not just of my food today, but you are my food today. You are my bread today. Would you lead me not into temptation? Because I know I have a tendency to step off into some stuff I should not be a part of. So God, would you protect me from my own stupidity sometimes? And would you protect me from the devil who roams around seeking whom he may devour? Watch this. That prayer now becomes not a formula, but it becomes a filter of how I pray. 